Again, in our God's Word for Today devotional, welcome and good morning to each one of you. Let me read to us our text for today in 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8 to 11. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Now, in these particular verses, Peter was instructing the believers during the time and to us today that we should have a balanced view of suffering. Now, suffering could be caused by the devil, and it is allowed by the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, God does not allow anything in your life to harm you, just to harm you, just to inflict pain because um, he would make your life difficult. Many times, in many cases, he allowed or he allows what the devil will do, you know, capitalizing on our weaknesses in order for us to suffer. For a reason. So let us have the balanced view of suffering that the devil will try to solicit us to sin and doubt and rebel against God, while God wants to develop our character to become more faithful and to be strong in our faith. We should look at the two sides of our sufferings always, that these are from Satan and God, respectively. For Satan, as I said, he would like us to doubt God and to reject God and rebel against God, to sin against God. But God has a different purpose. It is for our maturity to make us strong as a believer. Definitely, in the sight of Satan, he will inflict pain in order for us to sin against God. He is described by Peter here as a roaring lion that intimidates us. Thus, he said to us, let's be sober-minded. The word means to be well-balanced and self-disciplined. We must be well-disciplined in our mind. And what's full should be alert and cautious. So Satan is trying to make us confused. He will attack our mind, just like how he attacked Eve at the garden. You know, he attacked the mind of Eve there, as God said, to for Eve to question the goodness of God. Intimidation is to make us afraid, to scare us, in order for us to forget that we are more than conquerors in Christ, and that Christ is in us. He is, he is our, our God who will never leave us nor forsake us, and that we will forget also that Satan is already a defeated foe. So while we are sober-minded, we are watchful, we should also resist him. We should resist him as one planting his feet on the ground. You know, when we are attacked, we must like a soldier planting our feet on the ground and unmovable. We will not back off. Now, what can make us resist or what can help us to resist against the enemy is the truth. Because the truth dispels lies. The, the, the weapon of the enemy is deception and lies. Because he's the father of lies. John 8.32. So we should be encouraged that even in the hardships, the difficulties that we are going through, we should not isolate ourselves, but we should be prayerful as we have learned yesterday. We should be prayerful as a community. We should be humble. We should not isolate ourselves because these temptations, this attack of the enemy is not unusual. It's common to man. Peter said earlier, don't be surprised when trials will come because everyone 
will face difficulties and trials in life. So be sober minded, watchful, resist. That's how we are going to look at this struggle. When we look at it from the, as, as an attack from the enemy, from Satan. On the other hand, God allows sufferings. God allows us to experience hardships, but only for a little while. According to Peter here, you suffer for a little while. It means that suffering is only for a season. It's not perpetual. It will, it, it will end someday. As Paul said, no temptation has overtaken you, overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you to be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide a way to, of escape that you may be able to endure it. 1 Corinthians 10 verse, 10, verse 13. Peter referred God here as the God of all grace. God allowed or may allow sufferings to come into our lives. God may allow Satan to inflict us for a little while. Like how he allows or he allowed Satan to attack Job, but not perpetually. There was, there was a time, but that time ended because it's not forever. Sufferings will not be forever. He is the God of all grace, and he won't let us be tested beyond that which is needed. Remember, when God allows sufferings in our lives, it's because we needed it until such time that God deems that is the most, most appropriate for us to develop, to be the kind of person we want, he wants us to be. Then he will help us. He would complete, confirm, strengthen, and establish us. You see, the beauty here is that, yes, God allows suffering for a season, but with that suffering, with that experience, difficulties, God will complete us, confirm, strengthen, and establish us. That is, He's making us what we ought to be. Strong, not a feeble, weak Believer, he is making a soldier in you and in me. Although we resist Satan squarely and firmly, it is God who makes us formidable and strong. So, what does it mean for us today? Today, let us not forget this balance in approaching our suffering. Let's resist the devil. Let's be sober minded, watchful, and resist him with all we've got, not, not careless, not taking things for granted. We have to stand on our ground. Moreover, let us rest upon God to restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish us. In other words, we fight Satan because God is fighting for us. We endure suffering because God is strengthening us. That's the beauty of the balance as we view the suffering that might have been caused by the devil, but allowed by God in order to confirm, strengthen, establish us in the faith. Now, are you experiencing problems right now? Maybe that the word of God that we have just meditated will help you to see these two views and balance it. May God help us. Let us pray. Father, the devil is very subtle. He's full of lies. He will deceive us to think that we are weak and we are nobodies, that he is the victor and we are the defeated foe. But thank you for the truth that we can resist, that we could hold on as we struggle against his attack. And even for the fact also that you are the one fighting for us. You're the one who, will, who allows us to have sufferings and difficulties for a little while. Yet in those sufferings, you are gracious. You will confirm us, settle us, and establish us in the faith. Help us, Lord, to grasp this truth today so that we'll be strong, we'll not succumb to the attack of the enemy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.